Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm sharing my clean and delicious breakfast cookies. And these are the Almond Joy Edition. Now, these are perfect for those of you who enjoy to do a little meal prep because you can make them on the weekend and then store them in an airtight container in your fridge all week long. And if you wanted to make extra, you could double the recipe and then store some in the freezer as well where they will last you for several months. Now, when I am eating a breakfast cookie, I wanna look for something that's lower in sugar, packed with some good, healthy fats, and some quality carbohydrates, and of course, it needs to be delicious as well. So can we please give a big thumbs up for recipes that are not only good for our bodies, but that taste amazing. So I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees, and I have a rimmed baking sheet that I have lined with a Silpat mat. Now you could also do some parchment paper here or simply spray the pan with a little bit of cooking spray. To start off, I've got one ripe banana that I'm gonna break into pieces and then mash up with the back of my fork. You want your banana to be about five and a half ounces and the riper, the better. The riper your banana, the sweeter it's going to be and the less additional sugar we're gonna need to add to the breakfast cookie. Then I'll add one beaten egg and 15 drops of liquid stevia. Now, stevia is a no calorie, all natural sweetener that comes from the leaf of a flowering plant. And the reason people love it so much is because there's no sugar involved whatsoever. So if you have diabetes or blood sugar issues, or you're wanting to maintain or lose some weight, this is a great way to sweeten your foods without adding any additional sweeteners. Now, if you don't want to use the stevia, you could also sub a couple tablespoons of honey or maple syrup, depending on how sweet you like your breakfast cookie. Then I've got a half a cup of softened coconut oil. If you found that your coconut oil was hard and really solid at room temperature, then you might want to just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds to soften it up because this will make for easier mixing. And on the flip, you could also do a half a cup of pastured butter here. Both options are extremely stable, high quality fats. Two and a quarter cup of old fashioned rolled oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna stir that all together until I have a nice thick batter, and then we are ready for our add-ins. Now remember, I'm going for that Almond Joy flavor, so I've got a quarter cup each of chocolate chips, shredded coconut, and some chopped up almonds. We'll stir that one more time just to get all those mix-ins incorporated, and then we're ready to get our cookies onto the pan. Now, to shape my cookies, what I do is I take about a tablespoon of the dough, and then I just form it into like a disc in my hand and flatten it out a bit, and then place it right on the cookie sheet. They don't really roll very well, so I find that forming them in a little cup in your hand is the best way to go. Keep going until you've worked through all your batter. You should get 24 cookies total, so you may have to do this in two batches. Once all of your cookies have completely cooled, you're ready to transfer them into an airtight container. I love using these really tall mason jars because they're pretty, but you can use anything you've got. Mm. Mm. I get a slight coconut flavor with the crunch from the almonds and then the sweetness from the chocolate chips with a little kiss of salt. These are perfect if you are on the way out the door in the morning and you need some high energy breakfast on the go. And they are also lovely in the afternoon with a cup of coffee or tea. When you get to try this recipe, be sure that you snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook because I absolutely love to see the clean and deliciousness that you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who's trying to keep things healthy and yummy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Because the riper your banana, banana, because all of the cookies, you're gonna get 16 on the first sheet, and then you'll get another four, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Right. Keep going until you've worked through all your.